Hi everybody, the video that you're about to enjoy is a chess lesson that I did actually just a few hours ago with Haftor, aka the Mountain from Game of Thrones. He's playing in PogChamps 2 and we were not synced up in terms of our video because I was capturing his stream, so we were not on the same video call. So just pay attention to his audio, but I did want to put him up on the screen so you could at least see that it was, you know, the real Haftor. Anyway, enjoy the lesson as always, and uh, yeah, try not to complain too much. So let's look at let's look at this one first. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm cho I'm basically just choosing longer games, so games that nothing crazy happens in the beginning, like someone makes a huge mistake, because you can learn the most from, you know, the the mid game and uh, and obviously the end game. So okay, first things first. Terrible move by Black, right? What is this? What are we doing? Why is Black getting uh, the queen out? <laughs> why? I have no clue. He, I, he wants to. He wants to attack. Yeah, but queen out early doesn't I do a whole lot. Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot, especially when you when you have when you have Black. I mean, when you when you play with White, sometimes you can play you know this this crazy aggressive thing. But what what is okay? Well, I don't think anybody properly trained in in Pog Champs Two is going to do this. But I just want to see what you're doing once you get. Aha! This. Oh, this is danger. Yes. So it's a bad opening by your opponent, but he's going for some sort of attack where the queen pressures like this. Very common. So how do you defend this threat? I put my pawn up, uh, or or I could even put my horse uh, uh -huh. up as well. So h4. No, I put my. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so normally this this works, but I, I'm 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 a terrible I'm a terrible person. So I uh I I laid a little trap here. You you can't play this move. Why not? I cannot. Okay, I cannot. Uh, because the bishop is gonna take me. Yes. Okay. So the easiest the easiest mistake to cut back on is just the one move blunders, which you you from your games you don't make a lot of unless you know you have very low time, which at that point it's just about moving quickly. So you can go pawn up. You you can defend the the pawn with the knight. How would you do that? And you actually you have to. It's the best move. I move my knight back on e one. Yes. Very common pattern. So you just defend like this because this is the whole point. He wants you to do this so that he can take your rook. True, that's actually... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's why he did it, because th this is a very common pattern. He lets you castle and then and then does this to you. So, you, okay. I mean, fine. We give away the rook. Um, I want to... I guess I want to have like a mini lesson, meaning just teach you a concept using the position that we have on the board right here. So... Who has a better position here? Like, I want to hear your thoughts first, how you would think about it, and then I'll, I'll kind of tell you the easier way to think about it. So who's better uh, here and why? I want to lean more towards... Um, like, I have... Well, we kind of have equal equal development because like even though he hasn't had his horses out i still have my queen still inside but only one horse that has not been pushed out um i think that he's in a better position because of I... or do you like uh because of what uh because um he is threatening my horse, for example. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. Tell me. Okay, no, that's that's fine. And when I ask, it's not to be like uh, like to quiz you or anything. It's just I just want to hear, you know, if you uh, if you're thinking about how to evaluate a position, like the, the the easiest way. So you what you first things first. First things first. Material. So who's up material? He well, he is. Uh, he killed my uh, rook, which is right. worth more. Yeah. So rook is five. 
bishop is three or okay some people like to say like 3.25 whatever but what you'll notice is rooks you don't feel the presence of rooks until much later in the game right because mm -hmm. like you really like, do these guys really they're not even playing so mm -hmm. they just kind of defend the, the position so when you're down a bishop for a rook or a knight for a rook um it's you don't always feel it it's you know the position needs to open up a lot more stuff has to happen that's called being down in exchange uh so material is first material is is number one number two whose king is safer so whose king would you say is safer or is it hard to tell is it about the same i would say my king is safer right now yeah um you could think about that like how many moves would it take you to attack the enemy king he can't attack your king at all like with nothing well, it takes, takes me one move. Yeah, literally, you can go here. And by the way, who can sneak in here? Look at this. Yeah, true. Then you would really, uh, you'd really beat some stuff up over there because you would take this and then this and then this, so everything. Yeah. Um, so, so this is like a, a, a board vision exercise because it's like, oh, I can... So... His king's a bit weaker, not to mention this pawn, which is exactly what you did. Just went at, you know, you, you, you went for the weakness that you saw. Knight, knight there is, a, is an excellent move. I like that move a lot. So, um, material, safety of the king, and then the third and the fourth one, like little points to think about is, who, who has more development, whose pieces are more active? You have more active pieces, because he's yeah. only got one bishop. So, it's a great move. Now, he can defend this by going knight here. But he doesn't. He plays queen here. Now your move, your move surprised me here. I thought you did this because you were attacking this pawn. Mm -hmm. But then you played this move. Ooh, I don't know. And I was, whoops, sorry. Just teleported all the pieces. So should you take this with the bishop or the knight? I would have taken with my with my uh, knight. Should I tell you why? You should tell me why, yes. Because then I can take his uh, rook without a question. Yes, there is no question. But if you take with the bishop, you can take his queen with no question as well. Oh, that's so fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, so, they're, by the way, I think if you, if you really think about it, they're, they're both very good. Because one way you will win uh, a pawn and a rook for nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, but the other way, which is 6-0, or you're going to win the queen... And a pawn for these two pieces. So I don't know. It's like uh, and and by the way, black could still take. So it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. But yeah, knight is probably completely also okay. I just want you to think about. You should always scan puzzles or in the position. Always scan what checks you have. So check. It could be the best move. Like this is a terrible move because he just blocks nothing. <laughs> But the big difference is that this, you know, this will win you material. Okay, so you make a mistake. Now, obviously, black is better because of what? Material. Black is up now a full rook. Mm -hmm. Like, full rook, no questions. Your next move here, grandmaster move. Grandmaster move, this move, f4. Why did you play that move? Even if you don't remember, you can, you can figure it out again. Why, why did you play f4? Open up for the queen so I could put more pressure on this pawn here. Yes, you, you see, like, that, that right there, that, that ability to see that this trade, yes, a lot of people, they're like, I need to make my queen active, so I'm going to move it. Oops, I'm going to move it. No, look for the pawn trades. Excellent. So your opponent plays a decent move. You backed up. So the thing about a square like this is that uh, for the moment, you're safe. But do you have a move after that? Does your knight go anywhere after that? Mm, no. No, it's kind of stuck, right? So I would just just drop back, or at least drop back to this square. Now, psychologically, it could be weird to go back to a square that you just were on, right? Like, why would mm -hmm. I just go back to this thing? But this is why you should always look for checks, because in this position, your opponent can win this knight with a check. Where is that check? Um, 
he could uh, bring his queen on on um, uh, b6. b6, yes. So it's not just checks for yourself. It's also you go, oh, I can't play that move because he just has queen, queen b6 winning. Um, there's also this unfortunate trap. Your knight just gets stuck. Well, uh, I have backseat chat grandmasters yelling at me to show you this move as well. So, but queen b6, I want you to think about more than anything else. You should always be looking at, you know, what potential danger can approach you, which I suppose in your line of work, you don't always have to do. <laughs> but, uh... No, so luckily. I'm yeah. Lucky. Also, I I, Iceland is pretty safe, so... Right, so... It is, it is. Yeah, so that's, uh... I'm from New York City, and I'm also like, you know, um, five foot nine and 150 pounds. I don't know. I, can, I don't know if I can translate that into kilograms and meters, but one, what is it, chat? 175? So Yeah. So I do have to work. I, I'm always on the, on the look where there's some danger. Um, mm -hmm. But he takes, so you must be happy because you get your queen, you bring your rook. Mm. Ooh. He goes here. Remember how I said always look for checks? Yep. So in this position you have this, but that's not that's nothing. It's nothing. I mean, he takes and he can't castle, but okay, whatever. But you do have something else. After you you finish looking for checks, scan what you can capture. This pawn. Yes. That knight got in the way. Of uh of the queen right and queen here yeah and there's not going to be any castling it's you're you're making a comeback but what I what I really like about this position is the way you're playing even though you're down material um now this position your queen's in danger right yeah do you have to move it the trick question. Mm. Mm. To have to move it, yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would, I would like to move it, you know, um, for you're not, sure. You're not allowed. You, your queen has to stay on that square. You have to use uh, what we talked about. Look at your possible oh. checks first. Yeah, I would uh, kill with the bishop. Yes, bishop takes pawn because again, this move opened up two pieces attacking here. Bishop yep. takes pawn. If rook takes, easy checkmate. What if the what if he doesn't take? Now what? Mm -mm -mm. I would still check. No, I would not be able to do that. Then I would take his horse. No, then ah, uh, wait. Then he takes. Uh, wait, give me a second. Checks first. Always checks first. This will make it easy. You find the check here. Maybe, maybe we win the game. Check maybe. first. Okay. Mm. I mean, yeah, you could check by moving the queen from uh, f4 to g5. Uh huh. Those are both good checks. And by the way, it's almost made. Almost made. Mm -hmm. He has to like block with the knight or something because rook is protecting and his king is stuck. The so queen here is. Yeah, mm -hmm. there, and, and there's also. Whoa. Did the board just reset? Yeah, for me at least. Did it for you? Yeah, that was so strange. What the hell was that? <laughs> what, what the fuck just happened? I have no chat, idea. Chat, chat, did you do that? <laughs> God damn, the chat did it. There's too many people watching the game. That was, okay, that was very strange. Um, okay, but we're here. Okay, Where? queen queen check, queen check. But you're still too worried about the queen. Check this king without moving the queen. And without moving the knight. I want you to find it. In one move. In one move. Without moving the, the queen or the knight. Or, or the knight. Take the pawn. Oh wow, that's clever, yeah. And it's mate, by the way. It's a box. Wow. It's it's it's, it's just a box. I mean, 
Black didn't take care of the king. Like, Black never castled. Black was up a rook, but was Black really up a rook? Look, you played with your knight, or horse, queen, rook, bishop. Guy never moved his rook. So, <laughs> right? That's like, that's it. Like, you played with all the pieces, and you were down a rook, but Black never used the rook, so... Uh, how did this? How, how did this game end? Actually, uh, well, th that's that's why I wanted to show you. Right when this move happened, you said, "Oh, my queen's in danger. I need to move it." Which, when you're first starting out, is generally a good rule of thumb. But I'm uh, what I'm trying to show you is, you played a great game to open up this file. You just never finished the job because bishop takes is over. You just win on the spot. So there's two uh, there's two small bits of information here that you can just kind of. Keep in mind, always scan for a check before you do anything else. I know your queen's in danger, but just maybe this is going to win the game. So just look at it. And then at the same time, um, it's, it's, a, it's something I like to call danger levels. So your queen is in danger, but there's something on the chessboard that's worth more than that. So it's the king or the enemy queen. So like... If there's a way to counterattack without moving your own piece. And so that move just wins. Now, in the game, you did this. It attacks the knight, but what's the problem with this move? He can kill with his queen. Yes. So queen takes queen. Uh, do you, is a queen trade good or bad for you? Right now, bad. Bad. But up, up material. Yeah, because uh, you're down material, right? So you don't want to trade. Mm -hmm. So the, the more pieces you trade, the less chance you have of winning. Now, what, also, when you have an attack on the king, you don't want to trade the queen. Most powerful piece. So, uh, yeah. If you want to move your queen, probably this is the best move. Attacks the knight. You prefer if I call it a horse or a knight? Whatever you want to call it, really. Like, yeah, knight, horse is fine, yeah. So the black would have to go here, and then, uh, well, how can you continue to potentially attack on 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 the king here? Like, would wouldn't well, this be great? Yes, it would be. So how do we how do we make that happen? This guy's in the way. So what do we do? We can take. We can take it. Yeah. Uh, this, this move is gonna suck really bad for black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Black is going to have to put the queen or the knight. Um, yeah. So this is, I, I really, you, you came up with a very good plan here. This is a very advanced idea, f4. Um, I'll tell you right now, from what I've seen, this kind of understanding of how to open up the position for one of your pieces is using a trade of pawns. I haven't seen that from anybody. Now we just have to start, you know, bringing the knights closer home and uh, just scanning for, like, attacks uh, on our position. That's all. Yeah. So when you say you haven't seen that by anybody, what do you mean? I've coached uh, a few people and uh, I can I can make a little test. If I gave them this position and said white to move, I would be shocked if anybody said this move. Okay. So. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I, I'm honest. I, I've been completely honest. I think it's a, I, I think it's a really nice idea. Let's put it this way. If you never found this move. You would have never created winning chances for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you were able to play down a full rook because you just use what you had. And, and that's that. Now, obviously, in the future, these kind of bullshit, you know, early attacks, you just defend and then move your king out of the way so that you can take the bishop. Yeah. But yeah, don't, don't, don't be worried. Like, the game of chess cannot end so early. It's just... Just impossible. Uh, I'm gonna invite you to another position, uh, or sorry, another game. Just give me, give me a second. Uh, and then what we can do is maybe we can play somebody, like in a, fi in a in a longer game, like 15 minutes, just so we can talk out the you know thought process and, and and so on. And then if it's a rated game, I can always refund the person rating points. Yeah, um, I would love that. Yeah. Is this the game I was thinking about? This game, yes, it was this game. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm gonna invite you. So checks, captures, scanning those things. Okay, I sent you an invite. 
Uh, do you know how to flip the board so that you're looking at it from Black's perspective? Um, let me see. Uh, I think so. Yeah, wait, wait. What is here? Is, is it here? Right. Here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So... Do you want, want me to watch it from black or, or, or white? Yeah, yeah, because you, you had the black pieces this game, so it's obviously it's easier to analyze when you're looking at it like this. Yeah, um, like, like this right? yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask you what you do uh, in the opening when they play something like, like the bishop move. Like, do you usually copy them? Um, sometimes. Okay, sometimes is a scary word in chess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, because the thing is, when you're just having fun, it's like whatever, you just play any openings you want. But when you're training for like a, a tournament, you want to try to be consistent because that way you'll actually really get a lot better. You'll start okay. learning. So I feel I feel like I would have would have played that here yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's what I recommend. Like if they put the bishop, you put the bishop, uh, and then if they castle quickly, I actually recommend uh, you castle the other way. Do you know why? Mm, uh, on it? No, I don't know why. When you castle on the other side, you put the kings on opposite sides, it's easier to attack the enemy. Ooh. Because, like, if you want to attack here, like this with your pawns, open everything, why would you put your king here? True. But does right. that mean that he can attack me also easier? It's, it's a, yes, it's a little bit riskier. So I need you to tell me, do you want to castle the same side or you want to start an attack on the guy? I want to attack him. Well, there you go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, our, our, our styles match up. Um, nice. So th th that's the way I prefer uh, to, to teach because the same side, like when the position looks completely the same, for me, like this is where chess sucks. Like the board is identical, right? It's literally the exact same thing. Um, yeah, uh, he's, he's copying me. No, I'm copying him. I'm black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go second, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love I love when when uh when, like I've taught kids before, and you know they'll they'll play like this, and then the guy with the black pieces yells, "You're copying me!" It's like no, you go second. So, but in this game, he didn't. He, I mean, he does this. I don't know what this is. So I like that you know you just get the knights out easy. Uh, and then, okay, this is just, I mean, I don't, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of mistake. Um, so you take, and then the guy just gives you a free piece. Okay. Yep. So this game, you're up material. Last game, you were down material. This game, you're up material. Um, right here in this position, already small moment. It's better to take the bishop than it is to take the knight. But can you, why? Why is that? Why is it better to trade the bishop? Because you're open, opening up uh, the, the, his pawn structure, and then he has pawn, two pawns stuck together, which is not good. He has two pawns stuck together. You're absolutely right. In the game, you also damaged his pawns, and you won this pawn. Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, obviously is good, right? You win a, another pawn for the trade. But I actually, it's kind of funny. I would prefer to do this because two bishops on the board, if they survive, can be very dangerous, especially if the board is open. What does that mean? So you'll notice like later in the game, look how powerful these guys are. Mm -hmm. They control a ton of squares. Mm -hmm. Whereas your knight is just like, you know, wobbling in and attacking the queen. So all he has to do is put the queen away. Um, so I would suggest if you can trade the bishops when you're winning like this would be a little bit better. Uh, also, quick question: How can White double attack this knight and this pawn? Double attack. Uh, he could uh, move his queen to G G G four. Yeah, another kind of dangerous spot. Um, you're gonna have to give this pawn away, which I'm I'm sure does not look nice. This does not look very nice. No, you could you could you could uh, uh, you could uh, castle. Yes, but between these two, which one would you rather give away? I would uh, not give anything away. I would just kill him. No, it's joking. Yeah, I'm just messing with him. My chat is going to take you seriously. <laughs> Shit. 
uh, I would, um, I would, yeah, true, true, true. That's true. Um, um, so you have to just give up the the the, the, the pawn. Yeah, it's I would. Just, uh, yes. Now some some beginners would be like, I don't want to give this up because then if he gets here, he's gonna take this, and then he's gonna hold on. What? Like when we start putting emotions into the game, that's when we start losing. No, he's not. He's not gonna take the rook. Back up the knight. And then just move the rook. Everything is fine. Everybody's defended. This is yeah. guarded. This is guard. Everything is fine. When we start going, I would rather give the knight away because then I would no, no. The knight is a better piece. But no, let's not give this knight away. Um, so just spotting things for our opponent, like how can they put us in danger? Question you got to ask. How can he put me in danger? Um, the less surprised you are by an opponent, the better it's going to be. So okay. Here we go. Beautiful position. Let's see how you, how you converted this game, or if you managed to convert this game. Do you see, by the way, how I'm saying the bishops are just pains in the asses? Like, mm -hmm. So trading the bishop would have, been, would have been a little bit better. Okay, queen e3. That's a strong move. What is he attacking? My horses. So he is attacking. This is not quite a threat, right? Because you're, nope. you're guarded. So yeah, his threat is to take. How can we protect that threat? We could, in this position, put my rook on e e8. Yes, that's that's definitely correct. Just defend the knight. Uh, you have no other way to just protect this, and if you move it, your, your queen is going to get taken. Mm -hmm. So, but you can also block this diagonal. Bishop. How do you how do you attack the bishop and stop it from attacking your knight? Uh, with my pawn. Yes. Um, F. F6. Yeah. And then, okay, then you move your knight and slowly you get your pieces out. So this is another, this is another possibility. Okay, uh, you're not going to be happy with this move. We did not, we did not stop the threat. Mm -hmm. I know why you did this. You were like, I'm going to get my bishop out. But see... If there's one thing you come away from today, it's going to be scanning for, for your opponent's threat. Like, your opponent plays a move, are they attacking anything? Oh, yes. Shit, like, I have, I have to protect this. But I, I kind of hate your opponent for his next move, too. He does this. Oof, you should have killed with this, um, with bishop. this uh, bishop, yeah. Yeah, so, but okay, what's the threat? Well, he's threatening uh, my, um, my, my king. Yeah, I mean, he's... Very wants to mate you so how do we defend this i'll give you I'll, I'm, I'm gonna say in the game you obviously were like okay if i push my pawn there's this but i have this move so i'm just gonna go here not not bad logic at all but you have a more aggressive defense use the move that you just did you just pushed uh, out your pawn sorry you just pushed out your pawn to develop your bishop and actually you yeah. can use it yep yeah. right here right this move is a really big problem for your opponent because look now if he goes back he goes oh i lost his knight really no he didn't so everything is fine here like you at least get the bishop now yep. there's also something here called a capture chain so a capture chain is when both sides just take like three or four pieces in a row. So, queen takes queen. What is white going to take? You could draw arrows with a uh, right click. Right click and drag. Yes, I'm going to take this. What's white going to take? With his bishop. Rook, you're going to take the rook. White can take the bishop. And what are you going to take? There you go. At the end of that, you have a knight and a rook. They just have a rook. Life is good. Easy win. I want to practice that real quick before we just we 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 uh, go through this. Actually, let's go through the game first. Then I want to practice that uh, converting converting an advantage. So, um, you play g6. He plays queen h4. So first things first. What's the threat of this? Well, um, he is putting. You know, he's putting. Uh, a lot of uh, pressure on 
obviously the night, mm -hmm. for example, and and yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. He's you can say he's got vision on this pawn, but he's not he's not threatening it. No. Now here's another pattern. Have you ever seen something like this? I'm just gonna show you um, something like. Have you ever seen this kind of checkmate, like? Or the bishop and the queen or something come and, and attack together. Have I seen this before? Yeah. Uh, yeah, might have probably. Yeah. So it's 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 very common uh, in in positions where there's like three pawns on the same color by a king, and there's nothing defending these squares. So mm -hmm. bishop and queen can go together, do some serious damage, or a pawn. Uh, and so it's it's a very it can be very dangerous to not have any peace guarding the dark squares, or if obviously if it's the other way, on the other side of the board, light squares. So, but you're right. Right now, this is in danger. So, stop the threat. In the game, we had Bishop F5, but then he could take your knight, which I I mean he just did not he did not do this at all. So I but I well we want to not also make mistakes. So how do you defend this knight again, Rook? Right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna attack one more time. So I have three attackers on the knight. Uh, you cannot guard the knight anymore, because if you play this move, just takes. Mm -hmm. So my question is, how does Black play a move that stops one of White's attacking pieces? This is a hard one. If you can't if you can't find it, you tell me. But basically, you you have to block the path of one of the other attackers. Block the path. Don't let them see the, the knight. Uh, I'm thinking the pawn up here, but that doesn't really do nothing yes. for me because he's going to kill. Yes, uh, okay. Then I'm thinking the bishop up here. Yes. Uh, yeah. Great, because you're defended. Yeah. Nice. So that's... There you go, you just added that to your chess toolbox. So, uh, the full word for that is, is called interpose defense. And I, I mean, you don't need to remember the, 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 the full word, but the point is that you have something that's attacking you, but instead of protecting it or moving it, block the path of the other attacker. So, um, yeah, this is, there you go, now, now, now you have that. In the in the arsenal, so you'll know in the future if you're under attack, you can block something. You don't just need to defend the actual piece. Uh, we got bishop f5. This is actually a very creative move because in this position you can take with a knight, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I can. Yeah, because I'm threatening his queen as well. Yep. Yeah. So this this he can come back and take, but then your knight. Horse can take this guy. Uh, what's the what's your material advantage in this position? How much are you winning by? Uh, three plus three. Yeah, you've got three extra pawns. Oh yeah, I suppose you do have the. <laughs> it do, it does say, but um, in terms of balance, yeah, it's just three extra pawns because it could be plus three, but you have like you know an extra bishop, or it could be you have a queen for a rook and a pawn. So, uh, but you're just up three pawns. So you roll. Mm -hmm. go forward so uh we got rookie eight g4 okay he's doing to you what you did to the other guy attacking while losing like you know down material but just going for the attack so you traded which i like uh i like this I, you took the pawn which i like but in this position white could have played a move which threatens something very devastating uh, very, very devastating on the next turn. What the hell am I talking about? Think about your king. Doesn't, king doesn't have a lot of guards. This rook just got here. How can that rook join the attack? Come here? Yeah, uh, keep, keep going. All the way. The edge. Oh, yeah, there. Yes. So... Scanning for danger from our opponent's side. And by the way, you have only one move in this position that does not lose. You have to just throw the pawn forward. 
because he cannot take it with his queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that would be nice, but it's not going to happen. So he'll take with a pawn. You say, how does that slow down his attack? Remember this knight jump? Yep. That's the only way. If you don't, if you wait one more move, what's, gonna, what's this pawn going to do? Is it going to go forward or is it going to take? Take. Take. Yes, yeah, good. I thought you were going to be like, ah, oh, I just... Mar no, 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 no. No, we're going to take and it's, it's, it's done. This is over. I'm not going to stop this. So how quickly they can counterattack a king is pretty crazy, just like you did to that guy. Uh, but but he, didn't, he didn't bring this. And just for fun, I will also show you uh, just how strong this move is. Um, this move, remember the other threat of bringing the queen? Mm -hmm. Well, in this position, there's something even more beautiful. I don't even have to wait to go here. I can just sacrifice my queen. Yeah, because... Check. Mm -hmm. And then checkmate in the corner. Checkmate, yeah, now, true. Same thing, by the way, the bishop. The bishop is the killer here. This little corner checkmate is, is ridiculous. Now, the lesson is not that you need to memorize all queen sacrifice checkmates from now until, you know, the end of time. But it's just that you know when you see a bishop like this that can control the squares near your king, you have to be mindful of that. Like, you want to go for a queen trade. You want to look for a rook trade. Um, try to trade pieces as fast as you can. Like, in this position, it might actually be better for you not to take the pawn, but to get your queen out, get your knight out, so that the pieces are playing. It's, it's one of the rare cases you might not even want to take. Now, he plays this move, which is not a bad move. Um, now, you played knight e5, attacking his rook. I'm going to break your heart here for a second. You, you saw this was protected, right? Yep. It's an illusion. Why is it an illusion? Because uh, I'm uh, opening for my queen. Yes. But this position is really difficult. I mean, you're completely winning. You have like six points more of material. But it's like, it's, a, it's rough. Like, you just somehow can't, can't move these pieces. So, again, I think I would recommend maybe just, like, try to get the pieces out. Like, there's no way to guard this knight. I mean, unfortunately... Although, can we be, like, very flashy? Can we sacrifice a queen in another way? Like, what if you play knight here? So, here's my logic. Hear me out. If bishop takes queen, what do you take? You take... It's on the other end of the board. His, his, uh, his, 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 his rook. Yes. With a check... His king has only one move, right? Yep. Now, just like I showed you, this is why you should always look for the checks. You have a check in this position that seriously kicks some ass. Yes. So you invested the queen, but you're going to get two rooks. You got both rooks. Now, defensive exercise. I'm going here. What's my plan? You already know my plan. What's my plan? Uh... You want to find the checks, so you want to move the rook. No, you don't want to do that. Um, well, that, that's what you want to do, but if you're not fast, I'm going to go here, right? You know my plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that doesn't work, but yeah, look for the checks. How do you fight back in this position? You do have a check. Very good. Okay, so first things first, what if I move my king here? This is why it's always good to look for that. Mate. Literally just mate. Mate. Uh, and why is this not mate? Because queen can take. Queen can take. Okay, very good. Um, so then if we give this check, the king goes here. Uh, gonna gonna <laughs> teach you a concept. Yes, okay, very good. There, there, is, there is knight here, and there is also... Uh, th there's a lot of checks. I mean, we have knight here. We also can bring the knight back. But the point is that you use checks, right? You use checks to then start chipping away at, at the rest of the position. Something like, uh, you know, if the king goes here, this position, you can give me another check. 
And now I have how many king moves possible? Right now I have one and two moves. I mean. Two moves. Both of them lose material. King d2. Black to move and win material using a check. That's a that's a check, but it, it doesn't guarantee you get. Yeah. Uh -huh. sure. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. So nice. So fork, and you can win the queen a different way if this. Sorry. You if the king comes up instead of going to the side, you can win the queen in a different way here. Uh. Okay. Um. It's a it's a very weird one. Mm. I see people uh, shouting to to take this, but I said I said a check, right? Look at this one. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. You go. there you go. <laughs> I mean, I am willing to predict that in the next 1,000 games that you play, knight g2, forking a king and queen on these two squares will never happen because it's just such a weird thing. So weird. Um, yeah. But it's just, that's why, like, checks help. And somebody asked me, if you move knight here, why would the bishop not take? Why do you think, like, the bishop would not take? Uh, well, I need this bishop to attack you, right? That's real. That's it. It's a fair trade, but I don't want to. I don't have an attacking piece anymore. That's why it's better not to trade, because that's your only way to win the game. Um, but I mean, I just kind of wanted to show that 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 lost in certain positions. Like I'm, what I'm teaching you here is don't sacrifice your queen every game you play. Um, but sometimes, uh, it it can be a little bit you know, hard to untangle, but there are combinations that exist, right? So, yeah, yeah. and so like, I've, I'm not saying, okay, or like every game you play, I want to see you losing your queen. Um, but also the, the most basic lesson about this position is the fact that sometimes with pins, something is not guarded. It's, it's just, it looks like it's guarded. But by the way, I got to tell you, he also made a mistake. He just, he, he did this. So he, he made another mistake as a beginner. He attacked your knight and didn't even think where it's going to go. That happens all the damn time. I can't tell you enough. Like, uh, it's like uh, they attack a piece and they don't even... And so what did you do? You just took this. Easy. He took your knight. Should you take his bishop? I... Uh, I mean, hmm. I guess the easiest way to think about it is: Are you winning that trade or not? I'm losing. Yeah, you lose the trade. So, what is the simplest move here with your queen in danger? Uh, move my queen up. Yeah, just up a square, and then and then deal with all this crap later. Like the bishop is now pinned to the rook. You've heard, you, you've like, you've seen this tactic or heard about it. Like pin. I'm not just saying nonsense, right? Yeah, yeah. For okay. Sure. So he's pinned. I mean, he can't move. But I'm also going to show you. Uh, what happens if you take the rook? He'll take. He'll take your. Oh, oh. Well, that. Well, that would be great. I would love that because then you can take this bishop, right? <gasps> But uh, what if he takes your queen? This is just a stupid thing? We just got a rook for a queen? Or do, is there something here for us? Yeah, we do this. Beautiful. That's it. It's a combo. Um, these two-move combos, like if this was a puzzle, there's a, there's a two-move combo, and boom. You get a rook, and then you pick up the queen, and this is, I mean, this is, this is easy. He's not going to beat you with just the bishop. 
if he does, then... Well, you and I are going to have to have a talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just the bishop is not good enough. But, okay. I don't even hate that you took. You're still crushing him here. You're still crushing him. Uh, but what is the threat of this move? This is his last chance. His last chance. What's the threat of queen f6? What's the threat here? Well, he can kill this pawn. On f7, right? Yep. It's the two things most important. I have a question for you. Is he threatening your knight or not? Well, he is. He is. Sort not. of. He's not. He's, Why not? Well, if he takes takes him, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take his rook. Yes. Yes, beautiful. You see this? Excellent. Like, it's a fake threat. Now, here's an example of that mistake I mentioned earlier. Uh, making a move, but not thinking, like, what your opponent will do. Like, where will they move their piece? So, for example, that's a fork, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a fork. It, yeah, it's nice. The problem is that the game, wait, they just go here, and then checkmate. So... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, knight, knight here looks nice, but it's not, a, you know, it's not asking the question of, you know, where's this queen going to go? And in the game, I think you, you, you brought the knight back to defend. Whoops, sorry. You brought your knight back to defend. And he used his only two remaining pieces, right? Only two remaining pieces. And he, uh, he managed to, well, to checkmate. Because even though you covered this square, these two, that's it. So... It just shows you, just like in the game you just played, mm -hmm. there's only a few pieces remaining, but he was able to use them, right? Mm 